What's up guys, this is the how to bar lace video by Lace Anchors. Lace Anchors allow you to eliminate all that extra lacing that you normally have to have shoved inside your shoe when you're done with your lacing pattern. You don't have to tie the ends together, you don't have to tie knots or bows behind your tongue, you don't have to stand on shoelaces and you get a same consistent solid fitting shoe every single day. Um, with, with the bar lace method, we have a lace anchor installed down here. You work your way up to the top and you have a lace anchor installed right here. You can see inside the shoe, there's absolutely nothing to cause any discomfort inside there. You just slide your foot in and, and you're ready to All right, go. Alright, so first, you got to get uh, one of your lace anchors. And you'll grab uh, your shoelace here. And what you're going to do is take your shoelace through the center hole of that lace anchor. You'll then bring your shoelace through the top hole of the lace anchor. You'll then take it over the top and into this bottom slot of the lace anchor. What that does is secures your shoelace to the lace anchor. You can now trim off maybe about an inch or so. And uh, you can trim that tip off and now you can run your shoelace underneath this first bottom eyelet for bar lacing. See how nice this tucks away underneath this eyelet. They're super flat, they're really small. You're not gonna feel anything in there. You then take your lace straight across and form your first bar. Make it nice and flat. We've got some towels shoved inside these shoes to kind of simulate a foot in there so that it makes it easier to kind of get the shape that I'm looking for. But you can actually do this with your foot inside the shoe with certain types of shoes and uh, makes it a little bit easier as well. Once you have that bottom bar started, you'll then come through the hole right above it. You'll bring your shoelace out and then take it straight across and into the opposite side. Pull it to get a nice bar form. It's very repetitive and basically you just do this all the way up to the top of the shoe and uh, then we'll secure that end with another lace anchor. Straight across. Underneath and out of the hole right above it. Straight across again. Like I said, it's super repetitive, but it's easy uh, this way. You don't have to skip holes and lose track where you're at. And the nice thing too is adjusting. You can just start down here and just pull each one up to the top as opposed to some of these other ways of bar lacing. It makes it really hard to adjust each individual bar. And what's cool is once these lace anchors are installed, your laces aren't gonna move around on you because they're anchored right here and right here. You don't have any extra slack or, or where a knot would normally be to come undone or to, to come loose. It's the same consistent fitting shoe time after time. So every time you put your shoe on, you get that same feel. You don't have to constantly adjust or tuck in laces. No knots or bows tied behind the tongue. It's just uh, super simple, super comfort and pretty effortless actually. Now some of you guys might stop on this hole and which is fine. You can install a lace anchor right there. I'll just go ahead and finish it up to the top and, and I'm going to install the lace anchor up here uh, behind this eyelet. And once you get up to the top here, grab another one of your lace anchors. You can go through that center hole just like that and you're going to push this thing all the way down until it's touching the inside of your shoe here because this is going to anchor right there so you got to get the setting that you want. You know take a little bit of time and make sure you you get it exactly how you like it. Now I'm taking it back through the top hole so at this point you should have something that looks just like that and now I'm going to take it over and into that bottom slot of the lace anchor. Pull the lace all the way Get it nice and flat, pull it tight, pull on the outside here. And what you want to make sure you do at this point is test fit it before you trim this off. You know, stick your foot in there, make sure you like the feel of this, make sure it's the tension that you like, slide your foot in and out, um, and then trim it. Don't do it before because you might, you might want your shoe a little bit tighter, a little bit looser, and you actually don't even have to trim it. You know, our, our lace anchors allow you to get rid of all this extra lacing, that's kind of the point of them, but if you wanted to shove this down inside your shoe and just stand on it, you could do that as well. Usually leave an inch or so 
of lace and then uh, just rotate this down inside your shoe and these lace anchors get seated you know once you wear these shoes for a day or so you're you're not going to feel anything these lace anchors stay exactly where they're supposed to stay your shoes stay exactly like this you don't have to constantly fight with the laces and uh, just makes it really easy anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it helped you out and uh, you can check out some of our other videos on uh, our YouTube channel, Lace Anchors TV, or our website, www.laceanchors.com, and you can also find out uh, where these are available. Thanks for watching, guys.